Hello, hello, welcome to another Pre-Calc 12 class. We are on to 1.2 part one, and we've got reflections is what we're doing for today. Reflections. So reflections, as you just saw. What is the, what are the purposes for reflection? So we are going to apply horizontal and vertical reflection. So we can do both on a graph. Doesn't matter what you're doing. So it's important to know ordering for transformations. And I need to stop saying so because it's driving me nuts. We need to learn the order of operations because it's, it's different when we're applying different uh, transformations. And we're going to again use some mapping. Reflection. Reflections. So, see, I always say so. I could edit those out. They just take forever to edit out, like. Okay, compared to y equals f of x, if you put a negative in front of the function or in front of the f of x, this is a vertical reflection. As opposed to if you put it inside the function with the x, it's going to be a horizontal reflection. Um, you will see this written out as vertical reflection over the x-axis. Don't be confused with that. Remember, x-axis is like this, so a vertical reflection just goes like this, reflects it over the x-axis. Or horizontal reflection, you got the y-axis and you're reflecting like this. So that's all it means. Um, don't get confused by x-axis and, oh, that should be horizontal, because it's not. So let's do a vertical reflection on x squared. So here we've got it here. That might have been loud. x squared. Here we go. So if we look at mapping, we're going to get the following. So we go from negative to 4, so that's starting on the left. If we reflect that, meaning uh, we just take the y value, and put a negative. So we get negative 4 for that. Uh, negative 1, 1. Take the y value, flip it, make it negative. Do that for each point. 0, 0. Doesn't reflect. 1, 1. Gives you 1, negative 1. Keep reflecting that. And notice the y values just change from a positive to the negative. So if we plot this out and connect the dots, we get bum, bum, the nice blue line there. So this is a reflection. You've got a nice reflection across that x-axis. Horizontal reflection looks very similar. Here we've got a graph of y equals square root of x. And what we're going to do is look at the mapping of this. So we're going to map each point and flip it. So 0, 0 stays at 0, 0. And that's the nice point about this is it does not change at all. We've got 1, 1. Notice now we're taking the x value, take that from positive to negative, and do that the same for each of the points in this graph. So all we did, take the x value, change it from positive to negative. If we had a graph that already had negatives for x, you switch it to positive. I didn't have any in this one, but just a note on that. So plotting these numbers and graphing it, blue line. So you should see the reflection there. Pretend there's a mirror just going down the middle. Ordering of transformations. So ordering is important when you're doing something like this, because as we map, you will map certain things before you map out other things. So here is our general equation again. So y equals a times f, which is the general function, b x minus h all plus k. So A refers to vertical reflections and something else for next class. B is your horizontal reflections. Again, B is going to be something else tomorrow. Um, you've got two options as to how you're going to do the, the ordering. Either you do all the vertical transformations first. Translations, transformations. I think I mixed that up. Should be transformations. Because um, translation is just H and K. Should be transformations. All right, transformations. There we go. So all vertical transformations first. This would be your ordering. You do A, the reflection, K, 
K, the vertical shift, B, your horizontal reflection, and H, your horizontal shift. So either you could do it that way with verticals first, or you can do the horizontal transformations first. So do the B, then the H, and then AK. Either way is totally fine. I tend to do verticals more often than horizontals first. That's just me. It doesn't matter. They're, they're both going to get you the same thing. Deal with either the X's first or deal with the Y's first. Note, in order to do this, and this is a big note because this is going to mess up some people, you need to factor out the B. So in the expression up top, notice it's F, B, and then in brackets, X minus H. So whatever, if there's a number that's right beside the X, inside that inner brackets, you need to factor it out. Otherwise, this method won't work. Um, the set of notes that I posted on Google Classroom, it shows some where they're not factored, and it's got this really weird way of uh, trying to remember whether you do B first or H first. If you always factor this out, you just have to memorize this. So I think this is easier. Just do it this way. Let's do an example. So given the point AB is on a graph of y equals f of x, let's figure out where it would be on this new function. So first we have to factor out the b. Again, always factor out that b. So there's a negative in front of the x, we need to move that out. So we end up with this function here, negative f of negative x plus 3 plus 5. We can look at um, transforming it vertically first. So here's what this looks like. So we've got, uh, I kind of showed with the arrows here, the different types of um, translations, transformations that we've got. So the negative in front, that's a vertical reflection. That's what VR stands for. HR, horizontal reflection. HT, horizontal translation. VT is vertical transformation. Um, rather than writing all those words out, just you can write these um, shortcuts. It'll be a lot easier. So notice we did the, the verticals first. So we did the vertical reflection as one, uh, vertical translation two, then horizontal reflection, horizontal translation. It's the ordering for doing this. So we now need to apply these orderings to the point AB. Because remember, we want to translate it from that to the new function. So we start with AB, first apply the vertical reflection. So that changes the B to negative. Then we'll do a vertical translation 5 up. So we're going to add 5 onto the negative B. Then we do horizontal reflection, gives us this minus A, and then 3 to the left, so negative A minus 3. So this would be our final point. After it's translated, would give us um, the A value will turn into negative A minus 3. The B value turns to negative B plus 5. So that's the mapping for this. Let's try another one. Uh, oh, sorry, let's try the same one, but let's do the horizontal first, see what would happen. So notice here we are going to do the horizontal first instead of the vertical. So we take that same point, AB, First, let's do horizontal. So we get negative A, that'll be negative A minus 3. Then we'll do the uh, vertical. So vertical reflection gives us the minus B, and then 5 up. It's the exact same. So it doesn't matter which one you do first, you get the exact same answer. Um, so let's graph something like this. First thing you'll note, I've got a Y plus 3. You want to get rid of that 3. Sometimes they'll try and trick you by having stuff on the y side. Just solve for y. Don't, don't get confused by that. Just solve for y. So this is the proper form. y equals something. So from here, we've got all the different um, translations that are having... Tra transformations. Transformations. Not translations. We've got a vertical reflection. We've got a horizontal transformation 5 left. We've got a vertical translation 5 down. This time I chose to do horizontal first. Surprise, surprise. Just keep me on your toes. So um, we are going to take three of the points from the original function and translate it. So if we're actually going to graph this, 
we need to look at the original graph, which if you take all the translations and everything away, gives you this y equals absolute value of x, then apply the transformations to it. So these are the original points on the absolute value of x. And this is why it, way back in 1.0, I showed you the basic functions. You need to kind of remember what those look like, or these points. So we're first going to translate horizontally five, to, uh, sorry, yeah, horizontally five to the left. Then the vertical reflection. So we take the y, make a negative, and then translate that three down. So take the y, subtract three, we get this. We do the same thing for the other. So five to the left, vertical reflection, it's zero. So there's no reflection of that point, and then five down. Same thing, five left, vertical reflection, three down. So this gives us our new points. So we're not done yet, because it asked us to graph this. So this is what the graph would look like. Um, you just plot those points and then connect the dots. Here's our graph. So that is transforming functions. This is the first part. You can see why I split into two parts. Uh, we'll get into the next part next class. So see you there.